guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and today I am doing part two of testing out Kmart makeup. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below so make sure you go and watch that as well. But I bought so much makeup from Kmart that I had to split it into two videos. So today I've got some exciting things, a liquid highlighter, cream blush, some lipsticks, some eyelashes, so let's just get into it. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. I love creating content all about affordable Australian drugstore makeup, and if you have a very fair skin or red hair, just like me, then like even better. Welcome to my channel, subscribe down below, I'd love to have you here. Now because I am so fair, I didn't pick up a foundation or concealer, so I'm just going to go in with some that I already love and also that way I know if the other products don't perform, it's not my base, it's those products. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, this is in the shade 1N, and the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, this is the hydrating version, and this is in the shade Light Ivory. This is actually available at Kmart, and it's only $10, and it's really good, so. All right, so I think I might do brows first. I have the Brow Powder Duo in the shade Medium, and the Tinted Brow Gel in Blonde. I'm going to start out with the Brow Gel. Okay, I love a little a tiny wand on my Brow Gel, so ticks that box. Let's hope it's not too pigmented. As you can see, I really don't have a lot going on in the brow department. So hopefully this will just tint them a bit. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, okay, I feel like that has tinted them quite nicely. So I usually like going in with a brow gel first when it is the right kind of formula because it tints the brows and that way I don't go overboard with a pencil or a powder because that's when they can start to look a bit too like fake and drawn on. And I'm going for a natural fluffy vibe. For the powder, I'm going to go in with this shade first, the lighter one, and I'm using an angled brush this is the Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush. I'm sure there are similar brushes like this at Kmart as well. I really love this one because it's super, super thin. Okay, I might go in with the deeper shade actually. When I'm using a powder, I like to start underneath my brow and draw the shape and then go ahead and fill in the rest of the brow. And then with no extra product, I just blend from the bottom, pushing that powder through my brows. All right, for bronzer, I have the Sculpt and Glow palette, and this comes with a few different bronzing shades, some highlighters, and a pressed powder. I think I'm going to go in with this shade here because these two look a bit warm for my fair skin tone. Also, these highlighting shades are way too deep for me as well. I don't know why I even got this, to be honest. It's not very suited. <laughs> from my skin tone. But anyway, in my last video, I tried out the Bronze Whip Cream Bronzer, and it was such a beautiful formula, but the shade just wasn't quite right for me, which is a real bummer because the formula was like a standout. All right, well, this shade seems to be working nicely. It's blending out very easily. Doesn't look patchy at all. There is a bit of a sheen to this shade though. It's got a bit of a glow to it. All right, so I've got a variety of blush here to use, starting with the Blush and Glow palette. Now, I did kind of dip into this in my last video, the highlighter shades. Again, I just don't know why I bought this because this shade, no, this shade I thought would work for me, but when I put it on, it was like way too gold. And like these, just no. So anyway, I'm going to test out these powder blush shades, and then I also have the creamy blush stick, which <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been all about the cream blushes lately. This packaging feels really nice. It's like a soft matte. Oh, my blush is broken. Classic, classic. Well, the formula of this actually feels quite sheer. It has a nice glow to it though. So what I might do is go in with the powder blush, and then put a little bit of this on top to add that, you know, dewy look, hopefully. So I'm going to take this shade here. This looks like it also has a bit of a glow to it. Where is it? Hello? Oh yeah, oh, okay. That's got a major gold shift to it. Can you see that on my cheeks? Oh, I don't know if you can see that. 
but it is showing texture. All right, let me go in with the other blush shade because that one is a matte. Okay, that one's better. I actually thought that might be too light, but it's showing up quite nicely and I prefer the matte finish of it. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so with the blush stick, I've just got my beauty blender taking a little bit there. I'm going to stamp that on. I think it's added a bit more pigment, like my cheeks are looking pretty rosy, but it's not as dewy as I was hoping. On my hand, it, it looks like it had a bit of a glow, but hmm. Okay, now that I've played around with this a little bit more, as I said, still not as dewy, but I'm actually really liking the finish. It's very sheer and it's just adding a nice natural flush to the cheeks and it's not lifting up any of the makeup underneath either. All right, so next I have the Glow Wand in Champagne. I am really excited for this. I'm pretty sure they had about three different shades in this liquid highlighter. Cute packaging. Let's see. Oh, it's even got the little sponge. I know, okay, okay, hang on. I don't actually like a sponge applicator, but the reason it got me excited is because it's like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, which Charlotte Tilbury glow ones have been going nuts on TikTok lately. So this could be a dupe, let's see. Oh, that is so satisfying. Mm. Okay, okay, I'm going to put this on the back of my hand first and just shear it out. Ooh. So it's fair, but it's actually quite like a warm gold. Again, I'm going to go in with my sponge and just take a little bit. It seems pretty metallic. And let's just tap that on here. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, now I think I've blended it away. It's very glowy, but I'm seeing a stripe. Like it's not blending into my skin. Oh, like that looks good. Oh, I don't know. For my eyes, I have one of the Nine Pan eyeshadow palettes and this is in the shade Amber. Now, I really like the packaging of these palettes. They're cardboard and they've got a magnetic closure. The shades in here are very, very warm. In my last testing came up video, I used the Nudes eyeshadow palette, which looks like this. All right, I think I'm going to go for a halo eye. So I'll start with this lighter brown. This is the deepest matte. So I'll deepen up with this and then I might go for the gold in the middle. This deep shade here is a shimmer, so I might use a bit of that, but we'll see. Oh, okay, super pigmented, straight up. Already blending nicely. I've got a bit of a harsh line here, so I'm just going to spend some time working on that because it feels a little bit dry. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how that has blended out. It's Looking a little patchy, like a little bit, but overall pretty good. I'm just going to take a pencil brush and put some of that on my lower lash line. And then I'll go in with that slightly deeper shade and deepen up my crease and inner and outer corners. Okay, so that shade was a lot warmer, not so much deeper, but this is where we're at. <laughs> I just want to keep patting it on to build it up. I find if you blend too much, you blend it away. So you've got to be a bit careful there. All right, so then let's go in with the shimmer shade. See how it goes on its own first. Ooh, okay, not bad. And I don't think I need to dampen it. I'm liking how it looks. Ooh, exciting, okay. Now I do like a really deep lower lash line, so I think I might take that deep shimmer and just put a little bit there. Yes, that is perfecto. Just what I was after. All right, so eyes are done. I just like, I'm not really happy with the inner corner blending. I don't know. Moving on, I have the pump up the volume. No, I think that's just the description. <laughs> this is the volumizing mascara and I got brown. Oh, nice. So this says it pumps up the volume, it has a smooth application, improved formula, and a unique applicator. So unique. Wow. <laughs> anyway, this is brown. I'm excited because 
I think I'm out of all my brown mascaras. Oh, Kmart mascaras always have a really strong scent. I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. I really, really love that shade. This is like the perfect natural lash set. <laughs> natural lash shade. Especially if you're fair or you've got like blonde lashes, sometimes a black mascara can look a little bit harsh especially when you're not putting on a lot of makeup. So I think this would be perfect for those occasions. Okay, so I don't think this mascara is going to be one of those like glam, you know, get your lashes looking all kinds of crazy, but a very nice natural lash look. Now I also got some lashes. These are fluttering in the style Abigail. A lot of their lashes were like full on glam, heavy, bold. These were some of the more natural, like one of the more matte, Seriously, what's going on? <laughs> One of the more natural styles. All right, they seem to have quite a flexible band. Ooh, I'm not going to use the lash glue that comes with them. I'm going to go in with my Ardell Lash Grip because a shitty lash glue can really mm -hmm, mess things up. Okay, I, mm, mm, I don't know what's happened here. It's like they're, they're straight. They're not like curling up with my natural lash. And usually, like I usually use Ailua or Ardell and they work really well. When I close my eyes too, don't mind the glue that's still drying. Um, they look a bit plastic. Yeah, look, these just aren't sitting how I want them to sit. They're literally like... <laughs> Alright, the lashes had to come off. That just wasn't happening. <laughs> Lastly, I have some of the Luster lipsticks. I've got two shades here, Flirt and Taupe. Alright, the packaging is quite nice. Ooh, let's swatch them. So this is Taupe and this is Flirt. Quite nice shades. I might go in with the more rosy shade. All right, I love that shade and the formula feels really nice. Very, very creamy. Mm. Let's try on the other shade too. Okay, I really like that shade too. I think that they are both winners. All right, let's do a quick debrief of all the products, starting with the Sculpt and Glow and Blush and Glow palettes. I'm not going to dip into these again, although I did like this bronzer shade. A whole palette for one shade just isn't worth it. And the sheen, like it was nice, but I don't know. Just like I've got others, it's fine. If you had more of a medium complexion, I think that this would work better for you. Same with the blush and glow. These shades just aren't doing it for me. This blush with the shimmer was way too much. It showed way too much texture. This blush shade was very, very nice. I would use that again, but is it worth having the whole palette? Not really. The blush stick, I'm actually really excited to try again on its own and see what the pigment's like. I feel like it really just, you know, made the cheeks look a lot better. So I'm excited to try that one again. And by the way, this was in the shade Raspberry. There were three to choose from, I think. The Glow Wand, I don't know. I'll try it again, but I'm just like, not sure. My cheeks are pretty glowy, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see about that one. The brow products I really liked. I'll definitely go in with those again. They are looking quite dark, so I think I might just have to be patient and work with the lighter shade next time. Like, I don't mind them, but we'll see. I liked these. The eyeshadow palette. I don't know, I felt the same way when I used the nudes palette too. Like, they're all right, but I probably wouldn't use them again. I definitely have affordable eyeshadow palettes that work better. The Astralis eyeshadow palettes are amazing. Like these will do the job, but if you're wanting more, get something else. The mascara, I really, really love the brown shade. It's done a good job at lengthening, but the volume just ain't there. So as I said, I would definitely use this for a more natural or no makeup kind of vibe. The lashes were just a big fat no. I thought they would be good, but once on the eyes, they just stuck out like this. Save your money, go and get a pair from Ardell or Ailua. 
it'll be much more worth worth your money and then lastly the lipsticks i like the shades i like the formula i like the packaging they're a win from me all right well that is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching if you did you can give it a thumbs up and if you're new here i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't checked out part one of testing kmart makeup go and do that as i said i'll link it down below and if you want more kmart from me you can go and check out my tiktok i also have instagram if you want to come and follow me over there everything will be listed and linked down below if you have any questions or if you've tried out any of these products i would love to hear your thoughts so just leave me a comment all right, that is it. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.